And I want to start out with a little quote from Martin Luther King. And he once said, you don't have to see the whole staircase. You just have to take that first step. And that rings true with any goal that you set for yourself in life. Hey guys, got a statement for you. If you look at the top of the staircase, you will quit. Bold statement. Anyway, I'm Brady, the Gotti. Today I want to talk to you about a life lesson, a lesson in general, about necessary steps. I've got some notes with me. I want to just relax and let you know my feelings and thoughts on this. And I want to start out with a little quote from Martin Luther King. And he once said, you don't have to see the whole staircase. You just have to take that first step. And that rings true with any goal that you set for yourself in life. You don't have to see the goal, the journey, the path. You just have to take that first step. I'm not saying don't visualize where you want to be at the end of your goal. As a matter of fact, you have to visualize whatever that dream, that goal is, visualize it, but do not be thinking about and visualizing the path ahead. It is overwhelming. It's daunting. You'll just crumble and quit. So what I want you to do is think about taking just that very first step in whatever your goal is. It will keep you from being overwhelmed. So anyway, if you feel like you're the type of person that wants to make a million dollars, and if you're watching me, you're here for a reason, and you probably do want to have a million dollars. Who wouldn't want a million dollars? A couple million, a few million. But the only way to get that is to visualize the million dollars, but not the path you're going to take to get to that million, unless you're trying to take a shortcut with a lottery ticket. And you, we all know that doesn't work. So there are steps you have to take to get to that million. There's, if you want to have a great relationship with a special person, then there are steps you have to take to get there. Now, I don't want to get off topic because we're talking about a staircase to reach your goal, the steps it is to reach your goal. I want everybody to understand there are steps that you have to take without looking at the journey ahead and being overwhelmed. So if you want to make a million dollars and you're working, let's say online, you have to make your first dollar. And I don't know how many of you out there have made even a dollar online. You may have been trying for quite a while and you haven't even made that first dollar. I know I was in the same boat working, thinking I was working, and never even getting that first dollar. And the whole time I'm looking at, I want, I want, I want a million. And I, how am I going to get there? Look, this is what I have to do. That's where I have to go. This, this is where I want to be. And never, never thinking about that first step. I was jumping ahead into the path to the million. And it just, it was overwhelming. And I ended up spinning my wheels for so long. The only way to do this is to make your first dollar. And when you do that, you go, wow, that is great. And then that was your first step. And then you can make your next $10. That's your second step. And if you can make $1 and $10, you can make $100. And when you make that 100, you're thinking, this is unbelievable. I can make 1,000. And with duplication and replication, you can go on to thousands to tens of thousands of dollars until you reach your goal, 
but each one of these is a step in reaching your goal. And you just focus on the one step at a time so that you're not running down that path and trip and stumble and fall, or running up that staircase and trip and stumble and fall, or run out of gas, out of breath, whatever it may be, and you just quit. You have to start with step number one, to step number two, to three, to four, on down the road. You know, uh, you don't know me, so let me just tell you a, a little story about myself. Um, so the first, I, well, let's, let's start here. You see the American flag. I'm patriotic. I was in the service for five years. When I got out, I didn't know where I wanted to go, what I wanted to do. Some years down the road, somewhere around 27 years old, I uh, moved to California from the Midwest in Southern Indiana, where I'm at now. Uh, but anyway, I moved there, still not knowing what I wanted to do. So I ended up getting a job as a bartender in a restaurant. And it was a really lively, fun place to work. And it took me a very short time to realize that I absolutely loved the restaurant business. I loved being a bartender. It was something new every day, meeting people, talking to people. And I found that I had a real passion for doing this. Now I was still in the younger partier days, so I was tending bar to make money to go party. But it took me a short, while I'm going to say it took me about a year before I realized that I was not getting any younger and being a bartender was not going to pay for everything I wanted to do in life. I had to have some bigger goals, some bigger aspirations. So I decided that I wanted to be a manager of this particular restaurant. That was my goal. And I had to think, how am I going to be a manager from a bartender? Well, I started reaching out to people within the industry and especially within the restaurant, the managers, the regional managers, and they set me on the path to reach my goal of becoming a manager. So I started out, like I said, as a bartender. I did that for a while, but as I was being the bartender, I would take some shifts as a server because I wanted to learn the aspects of waiting tables. And I figured if you're going to be the manager, the leader, then I had to know every aspect of the business. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I started waiting tables. And I did that for a while and off and on because I really enjoyed the bartender part. But then I asked to go into the kitchen. I wanted to learn how to cook. What did the cooks and the chefs go through on a daily basis. I figured I had to know the menu as well as, you know, being the manager, you have to know the menu. Uh, you have to be able to explain this to people. Uh, and I wanted to know what it was like to be the cook. So I worked, I studied, I learned the menu, the items, and I worked with the head cooks and I learned how to cook in that kitchen proficiently. Now these steps I was taking, I didn't realize at the time that they were actual steps. Bartender, server, cook. Heck, I even washed dishes because I wanted to know how to use the dish machine. Then I took some classes and I worked within the company to take some onboarding classes. I was then finally offered job of assistant manager. I thought that was great. That was another step. I've learned bartending, serving, cooking, dishwashing. I'm now assistant manager. I'm directing and working with people beneath me. Another step in my journey to become the manager. As I was assistant manager, I learned the bookkeeping, uh, how to manage people, uh, how to work with the guests, uh, and all the daily operations and routines I had to go through if I wanted to become the manager. I was then finally promoted to manager and I thought, I've hit the pinnacle. I'm the manager. Now, believe me, this did not take a matter of days and weeks. This took years because I entered the restaurant business knowing nothing. I realized that was my passion. I wanted to get to the top. 
took the steps to get to that first goal without looking at the path down the road. I never once thought, this is gonna take me a week, this is gonna take me a month, it'll take me a year to learn all these aspects. I just took it one step at a time. When I reached manager, I thought, this is great. But I was not making the income that I wanted to earn to move forward in life. I decided then I wanted to own a restaurant. So I continued being the best manager I could and I took my business, my particular establishment from this level to this level, step at a time. And I'm talking about sales volume. And while I was doing that, I was still studying and learning every aspect and overall preparation to be an owner of a business. Again, not realizing that I'm taking in all these steps over time. And the opportunity arose that I could purchase that particular building as a franchise that I was in. So I took it. I purchased a franchise. Way back when before that, now this took a, a, a period of six years for me to do this, to work my way through the steps to become a manager, to then have the opportunity to be the owner and earn the big income. Now this doesn't equate to millions of dollars for me personally, but it equates to, I never looked at the journey when I visualize my goal of becoming a manager and then becoming an owner, I just took the necessary steps to get there. So the lesson here is don't look at that journey across to where you're going, to what you want or need. Just take it one step at a time. It's, it breaks it down. It just breaks it down to the point that you can get there without even realizing. You're visualizing that goal, you're not looking at the path ahead. So with that being said, I moved to home business entrepreneurship. Again, another field that I was not sure about, I didn't know what I was gonna do. All I knew was I saw people online making bazillions of dollars. So they said, and I wanted to do it, I wanted to learn it. So I struggled just like you and everybody else out there to make that first dollar. Yeah, I made a dollar, a two, a hundreds. I, I thought I was gaining some traction, but yet I was always looking at that path. Uh, I, I didn't learn I didn't put all this together and learn from my restaurant experience over the years that there were steps to take. So um, a while back, I found a place, a university that teaches the correct steps to reach that goal through free courses, free videos, free value, and I took it. And I started studying the free courses. I started studying on their videos that they were providing to me that were so valuable. I started implementing these one step at a time. And lo and behold, I'm now where I'm at now, moving forward with my entrepreneurship, being a branding agency with anything branding from A to Z, including training for anybody that wants training. I provide free training and anything else that comes along with entrepreneurship. So my goal is to someday have my own branding agency with people under me. And the only way to get there is to take that first step and then mentor one person at a time. And that's what I do. And I'm enjoying the journey without even looking at that path. I take it one day at a time. I follow my courses and I implement. And so far, this is becoming an amazing, just an amazing journey. 
that I feel that anybody can do as long as they're not looking at that long staircase, that huge journey. If you want to get somewhere, take one step at a time. It may not be a home-based business. It may be even taking a trip across country. If you're gonna take that trip across country, you're gonna start with the planning. You're gonna start with hacking. You're gonna start driving or flying and getting to your end destination. But there are steps in the journey to take. So anyway, that was my spiel about how I got from my restaurant career as a bartender to owner and how I'm moving forward as an entrepreneur from scratch and doing nothing to doing thousands and tens of thousands until I finally reach my goal of millions or a million. Let's not say, let's not get ahead of myself, not millions. I would like to get to the million. That's my goal. But I had to start with the first dollar. Then I had to get the $10, replicate the 100, the 1,000, the 10,000. It can be done if you take life and your goals one step at a time. Go back to that quote from Martin Luther King. You don't have to see the whole staircase. Just take it one step at a time. Anyway, that's it for today. Don't want to keep you all here forever. Enjoy the journey, guys. Take it one step at a time. And that is it. And this is Brady, the Gotti, signing off. And I'll talk to you all again real soon.